In my work and as a citizen here, I've often felt anger, hatred and violence rising up in me. It no longer amazes me that in so many places people are destroy, prepared to destroy one another. Because strong emotions can so quickly take each of us over, we can be blinded by rivalry. We're unable to see the human being in front of us. All we wish is to win and destroy the other. Many years ago, I had a phone call to give refuge to a young family who had been intimidated from their home and they would not be allowed back. Taking the Corrymeela bus, we then stood before a family who were nameless, standing in the rain, a mother and a father shattered and numb, each carrying an infant on their arms, with two black plastic bags full of their possessions. It was all they could gather up in a hurry. I also had the privilege to meet women and men who were parents or spouses of people who had been killed and who yet forgave those who had killed their relatives. Forgiving is freedom, and in forgiving the power of escalating retaliation and vendetta is broken, it vanishes. And these very same people have consistently worked for peace for many years. How can we deny their example and continue to live in a violent way? Defenceless as they were, I saw in the bereaved people's eyes, eyes that had stared into the madness of this world, and yet they were free because they forgave. And meeting them, I and others were able to go in their freedom, moving away from anger and violence. The frightened, intimidated and homeless family had become objects in the fight for territory and power. They had no fight left in them. They were defenceless and alone. When someone is an utter victim, they no longer have the energy to fight. They only ask for love. And in a very deep sense, they, above all, know that fighting doesn't make any sense. You and I are instruments of peace when we're free to be with others without conditions, without prejudgments. Reconciliation work carries with it the risk that we don't know the consequences in, advi in advance. In the New Testament, we choose by following Jesus when he stands before us and invites us to be free, free to give the others and free to give ourselves a new possibility to live without fear.